I needed a day off to recover from the crazy weekend of coverage here for the AMD launch and binge watch Good Omens with my wife all in one day. But I'm back and I've done some more testing on the Radeon 5700 AMF VCE video encoder engine GPU encoder for OBS and FFmpeg and tried to compare it to NVENC per popular request and it hurts me to make this video because currently it's not in a good state and we're gonna talk about it. I'm Eples Vox here to make your stream better quality and teach you some fun educational tech stuff and apologies if you hear a fan noise in the background I've got this beautiful RGB 3900 or 3700X test rig here with the RX 5700 graphics card right next to where my microphone is and that's the only place I can put it but as mentioned I I want I wasn't ready to commit to a video quality analysis of the 5700 and 5700XT's H.264 encoder just yet at the time of my launch coverage as I wanted to really take it home, pixel peep it on my main monitor and run it through some analyses and things like that. And oh boy, things are not good for AMD at the moment. I specifically had the request of both establishing, you know, an equivalent quality level of CPU usage presets equivalency to X264 as well as compare it to NVENC. And I wanted to establish that here. So I'm going to be showing you some quanti or qualitative analysis of just back-to-back -back screenshots and the different video qualities. And as always, patrons, channel members, Kofi donors, Twitch subs, things like that will always have my access to my original downloads or my original encodings, come able to download and analyze for yourself. Tell me how wrong I am, things like that. So sign up and support the channel if you want access to those kinds of files. But I have updated my scripts a little bit so that X264 and Invink most closely resemble what OBS actually produces. However, this is a problem for AMF because the AMF implementation for FFmpeg, while introduced sometime late last year, isn't documented pretty much at all and not very well. And so translating the flags and the commands over from OBS to FFmpeg is quite difficult. And apparently people have even tried submitting, you know, adjustments to it so that it's more documented and easier to use and things like that. And it's just basically ignored because no one's maintaining the code for it. And this seems to be a consistent thing with AMD over the years is they are completely neglecting their GPU encoder. And this is a problem, at least for H.264. I talked about in my previous video, the HEVC H.265 encoder is pretty phenomenal. It's blazing fast. You can run multiple streams at once and the quality is great, even at lower bit rates. However, you can't use that for live streaming and most programs aren't going to support that for recording because of licensing issues, which is the same reason you can't use it for live streaming. It's, there's major licensing issues with HEVC. So for most people, that doesn't matter. But also going all the way back to even pre-Polaris, actually going back to Polaris, using the HEVC encoder was pretty much the only option because the H.264 was so bad. And unfortunately, that doesn't seem to have changed much. So for my testing methodology, I have my AMD 3700X test rig here that I'm borrowing from Wendell at Level 1 Techs with the uh, Tai Chi motherboard, the X570. And I've got the launch edition AMD Radeon RX 5700. I tested this both on the press drivers I had before launch, and then they just released drivers yesterday at the time of recording on July 7th uh, with that we're supposed to have some fixes. So I tested it again on those new drivers. And, I, and I'm DDUing at each of these steps. I also popped in an RX 580 so I could test the older an older architecture encoder and put them head to head and see how they did. And then I tested it on my gaming PC on, with the RTX 2080 for Turing's video encoder. And so for my quantitative analysis using VMAF and SSIM, I used FFmpeg to do these encodes and try to match the commands up as best as I could. Again, AMFs specifically is a problem, but then for the qualitative analysis, I'm also going to show you direct from OBS synced up as well. I just can't run through those through the algorithms. So I'll be showing stuff on screen, but I wanted to talk about the numbers real quick here. Again, these are only to back up my point of view pretty much. They are not hard data. These algorithms are not perfect. VMAF specifically is Netflix's algorithm to determine like perceptual quality and try to work on bitrate efficiency for their streaming platform. However, it's not suited specifically for games and there's other issues. And SSIM is another option that kind of goes more for that, but less developed, I guess, for this purpose than Netflix is, and again, isn't tuned for games, but it's the only 
quantitative analysis I have access to for now. There are some more expensive, like thousand dollar software licenses I could get, which would help a little bit and make this faster, but I don't have access to that right now. But running through the numbers, we're looking at for the Navi graphics card. And I tested both again with the pre-release drivers and July 7th drivers and both the SSIM and the VMAF scores are exactly identical digit for digit. So nothing has changed there. Running that through, we are looking at out of all of the testing I did, and that is X264 super fast through medium, Invink, both with 2B frames and 4B frames, AMF on the RX 580 and AMF on the 5700 at all bit rates. So at 2 megabits per second, 3.5 megabits per second, and 6 megabits per second, it is pretty much the lowest quality out of anything I tested except for super fast. It does beat super fast. But that's it. It doesn't beat very fast. We're looking at, so for the uh, 5700 at two megabits per second. We're looking at a score of for VMAF of 33.205 for one and very fast says 35.937 blah 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 Super fast is 30. So it is quite a few, you know, it's a few points above super fast But that's it going down to 3.5 megabits per second 49 point blah 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 for uh, RX 5 for RX 5700 and for super fast it's 44 point something for very fast, it is 50 point something. For 6 megabits per second, we're looking at, for the 5700, a score of 64.233574. For 6 megabits per second, on very fast, it's 65 point something. On super fast, it is 60 point something. So again, between super fast and very fast. And the same thing is reflected here in the, actually in the SSIM scores, it's scoring worse than even super fast. That is unfortunate. Now, if we're comparing between the RX 580 and the Navi GPU, they're pretty close uh, within decimal places, pretty much at m under a point for each of the scores. However, the RX 580 is scoring a higher quality ever so slightly than the 5700, even for both VMAF and SSIM. Now, comparing it to NVENC, again, both NVENC at all bit rates at two 3.5 and six megabits per second is scoring insanely higher than amf at at all like by a matter of 10 points or more in vm mvm vmaf and significantly higher within these small decimal places for ssim it is a significant like there is no contest between turing invink and amf whatsoever and compared to x264 I'd say it lies between super fast and very fast. And jumping into the qualitative analysis, looking at the actual images yourself, you've been seeing some of these on screen. I'd say that mostly lines up. As far as Invink versus AMF goes on the new cards, again, there, there is no contest. Like there's still some pixelization at different bit rates uh, between, or in Invink, of course, because this is 1080p60 and it's a lot. But there's in Invink, there's more texture, there's more sharpness, there's significantly less blocking. And everything looks fine. Whereas in <laughs> not only is there all of the blocking textures are completely mixed together and it's softer on AMF for the 5700, but the colors are washed out too, which is a big complaint I see a lot about, you know, low bit rate compression. So I wanted to add a disclaimer here because this is what I need to say in defense of AMD. This is a launch product. These are fresh drivers, although again, these are post-release drivers that I am testing on at this point, and they can make improvements. And that's especially part of the whole RDNA thing is that they can improve it after the fact. And so at some point in time, they could always release driver or library updates that could fix this. Oh, by the way, I am also using the updated uh, OBS AMF encoder, which is upgraded higher than what ships with OBS. That didn't help either. <laughs> FFmpeg and OBS are both totally broken in terms of this encoder. I, I truly believe that if the encoder has the changes that AMD claims it does, then no software knows how to use it so far because neither FFmpeg nor OBS can actually see, I mean, even though it's showing in Task Manager, video encode engines being used, everything seems to be working fine. Something is not happening that's supposed to be happening. And that is a pretty big problem. Another weird thing was just how slow the H.264 encoder in FFmpeg actually ran at like 0.11 times, like 11 frames per second. It was really bizarre. It took a long time, which gave me more time to fill me up a nice drink of Sunkist and go catch up on dishes from the past weekend of crunch time constant video editing. But it was really weird because the HEVC encoder can run at full 60 frames per second. 
real time with six streams going at once and the H.264 encoder just runs slow and seemingly the same speed even if you run it multiple you know in multiple sessions at once so something is broken somewhere but AMD does not have a history of fixing it and that is what scares me so literally all I have to say or think is just AMD please fix it the hardware is capable I'm fairly convinced the hardware is capable of doing great things with this encoder but it seems like an afterthought and has been for years and I really I, if there's one goal with my AMD coverage lately is it's to get AMD to kick their butt into high gear to fix this to get it implemented well into FFmpeg OBS DaVinci Resolve I didn't even mention that there's errors in DaVinci Resolve decoding footage with the new graphics card decoders there's like an off by one error so the footage just totally glitched out I didn't even, didn't even show that in my launch coverage I just forgot and then the H.264 encoder for AMD doesn't even work in Resolve. After an update to the 16.04 beta of 4 or 5, whatever the latest is for Resolve, the H.265 encoder started working finally and seems to be fine and goes really, really fast. But the H.264 encoder just errors out and doesn't work on top of the footage decoding when you play back, but not when you render really poorly and glitchy. So AMD, please fix it. Show us your card can do great things because I'm fairly confident it can. Just got to bridge the gap on software. Talk to the software people. Talk to the OBS devs. Talk, talk to the plugin devs. Talk to the FFmpeg devs. Let's make it happen. Please. So, yes, at some point in time, this could be fixed and improved, and perhaps it can catch up a little bit towards NVENC or some of the more reasonable X264 profiles. If that happens, if that is the case, I will make an update video. But the reason I'm going ahead and making it now and the reason I am so concerned is this has been a problem for like five or six years. Pre-Polaris... The video encode engine was pretty confusing and wonky and messy and a pretty big problem. Polaris comes in, it breaks other things, but it fixes some things, makes it easier. Vega, from what I have heard and seen, is actually a step backwards in terms of video encoder quality. And now we have this. And at no point have they made any real effort to work with the OBS team to develop this plugin anymore. From what I have heard from people who work on it, I don't have direct involvement or comp conversations to know for certain but from what i have heard amd is really not involved in helping improve this or fix it they are not working with ffmpeg or helping maintain any of that they're not really supplying any resources and from what i can tell it's just an afterthought for them they just kind of slapped it on their gpu and said hey we have an encoder now and perhaps the hevc one is quite improved from what i can tell because i could benefit other things but for normal game streamers and content creators it's still an afterthought. It's still a pretty big disappointment if you're using H.264. And that is just disappointing. For all of my hype and excitement and love for this AMD launch, this has by far been the biggest disappointment. And I really wanted to have proper data and analysis in place before I made a video on it. So here it is. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all of your support on all of the coverage I have had so far. If you missed it, go check it out. I have a streaming and content creation extravaganza coverage with Wendell from Level 1 Techs on the 3900X and the 3700X, the 5700 and 5700 XT, as well as some crazy budget rigs you can build with B450 motherboards. And we had a lot of fun. It was great. Go check it out. I'm going to keep testing. Next up is on my test or on my docket to test and get some data on their VP9 decoder because a lot of you have asked about that. So I'm Epos Vox here to make tech easier and more fun. I'll see you next time.